Hey guys, this is uh, Austin Vaughn. Uh, I'm going to be showing y'all the farm today. Never mind my face. It's I had a uh, long week at work. <laughs> but uh, now let me tell you a little bit about us Vaughn Farms here. We, uh, me and my wife got married back in 2020. 2019 right after she graduated high school we was high school sweethearts our whole time and uh, ever since we were both very 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 young we've always wanted to farm she loves horses which is what I've got in the, tra in the trailer right now and I love farming cows and actually I am a uh, farm hand down in the valley up here on in our little small town of Bledsoe, Tennessee. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, me and my wife, uh, we've always loved agriculture. We've always loved to farm, wanted to farm. Um, we moved to, let's see here, we moved to Manchester right after we got married um, so she can go get an ag agriculture degree. It's a, a degree in... Uh, animal science she was going to be a vet it didn't really work out but that's okay we're still making it now she works for a company that deals with livestock i'm not sure if i'm able to say what livestock but it's okay we're uh but we're out in our beautiful beautiful little town here and we're going to make start making youtube videos to kind of show what it's like to work on a farm we've got a little bit of land leased we live on three acres me and my wife and our dane and uh, we have a little pup his name's Bo, but anyway, but we also have a our great dad named Jovi, which you'll I'm sure you guys will see. Look at the pretty horses. I'll show you them on the way out. But so we're here at the farm. It's it's on the side of the road, but you know. Oh, here we go. <sighs> do, 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 do. This is the lease property that uh, her father in law, or my father in law, her father uh, was fortunate enough to be able to lease this property right here. Good good sized property and what we got is we got our two walking horses in the trailer right now oh this gate's broken we'll have to fix that but yeah we got our two walking horses in our, no I, excuse me we have our paso in our walking horse named nine or his registered name is the Radiant Knight. And better close her door. <laughs> I have a bad habit about that. Do 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 do. And we hang on, and I'll show y'all. So this is our barn. We just kind of use it to store her her father has uh, his tractor his horse trailer um hay bales whatever else oh, let me get my truck but uh yeah she uh she got old all over the trailer 
and the back glass of my truck and uh so but we're gonna turn these horses out and uh so let me see if i can get us a good place to put the phone Let's see here. Well, this trailer don't have a lock on it. Normally, the trailers have, well, my trailer, our, our trailer we use uh, has a lock where you can lock the doors. See how it folds? You, it has a lock where you can lock. Anyways, that's besides the point. This is right here is Bella, the Bel Air Barbie. This is the starter horse for my wife this is her first ever horse she ever bought it was uh she bought it with her own money so it, uh, it led to her making a stables or the start of her stables and it's called 80 dollars stables and bella is a pacifino mix not registered she's just a good old good old horse back up baby let's back her out There you go. Come on. And, uh, yeah, she's a good old horse. So, far the lease property don't look like much as of right now. But we'll get her. We'll get her back right. This, this old horsey here has started it off. Now we've got horse trailers and tractors and if you guys can't hear that's the other horse in the background having a connection fit because his this is his girlfriend uh but we we got a lot of work to do on this place hopefully we get to like i said hopefully we get to buy this place one of these days come on baby uh because that would be absolutely amazing to be able to buy this place. It's got that field. It goes all the way down. It needs to be bush hogged. You guys will get to see videos of that. And then pond. And then way, it goes way, way back. All right, Bella. Let's let you loose. Go eat, baby. So there goes Bella. Let's go get the other butthole. <laughs> I call him a butthole, but he's a really good horse. And uh, I'll turn him loose too. There's Bella. Her nickname is Boog. But that's Carrie's first love right there. That was her. Actually, fun fact, me and myself and Carrie actually met at a horse show. Not met, but kind of hit things off, I guess you'd say. At a horse show in Pikeville, Tennessee, and down here at the fun show. And it's been history ever since. We, uh, we dated for three years engaged um, and then she was with me whenever I went to Tulsa Welding School in Jacksonville, Florida alright nine this right here is the Radiant Nine he is a hey buddy you are you love the cameras what you love you want to tell them what you are he is a I think he's 13, maybe he's 15, I think. I think he's 15 years old. 15 year old, t registered Tennessee walking horse. Uh, his registered name is the Radiant Nine. Yeah, we're gonna go see your girlfriend. He's excited. 
He gets to go see his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. And uh, let's uh, open this gate up, buddy. Watch out. Come on. Come on right here. Madman here is happy to be home. This is his. Oop. Ooh. Ooh. Good play. He's uh this is that's my horse. He's Tennessee Walker. He's a uh I use him as a racking horse. He's a grumpy old man, but he's a good one. And Horses like that are hard to find. Um, if I didn't have the trailer on my truck right now, then I would definitely take y'all back into the property, show you around, let y'all um, enjoy a little bit of the scenery. It's, it's a pretty place. This is a pretty place. And uh, we have campfires and bonfires. And right next to us is the uh, forestry, the state forestry. And it's, actually you can see it from here, it's like way off in the back. Uh, that may not be the state forestry, but it's close. And uh, anyways, it's, that's open land public land you can hunt uh ride around on side by sides and four wheelers but this is a piece of heaven right here it may not look much but this is uh one of these days we'll have it but uh so this is home it's not much it's uh three acres right at it and but it's home to me this is our field and that's our house a shed boat whatever so let me just say it. i don't want boat to lock me lock me out of the car so finally at our destination for the day so bo 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 this is Bo, this is our other pup. See, that's why I rolled the window down because he just locked the door. Get over and sit down. You don't need your window down, doofus. He rolled the window down, rolled the back window down right here. Unlock, stay. Okay, anyways, so final destination for the day we're going to pull this pin right here out if i can give me just a second ow and as you see folks keep your foot out of the way because it lands on your foot okay and now i always let it go till it touches the ground because at the end of the day, okay, I just unhooked the this right here. That's the lights plug in and trailer brakes, everything in between. So I just unhooked this. I'm gonna stick it right there. I try to keep it up, and then the last step is see this pin right here what you want to do is pull up and twist around it sits in that little notch and then move that back so closed see how the pin will line up and then open now the ball is on unlatched it's unlocked I guess pretty handle and you start twisting. 
start jacking up off of it. We're on fairly level ground, so it's not gonna... Uh, it's not gonna come off. It's not gonna take off running, as I like to call it, rolling down, the, down a hill. I've had that done. Not pretty. Um, and then I always find it a good practice to fold you. It's hanging out here. Somebody drives by, it's gonna hit it. And yeah. Anyways, then your ball will come up like this. You hook your chains. Oh, they got that. Okay. I just picked my chains up. Of course, this ain't my trailer. So we're trying to take care of it best we can. So where I'm at is the, it's the, what is this? Mustang adoption. It used to be a Mustang adoption place. And basically, they get these wild mustangs in from Wyoming and stuff like that and they would you could adopt them out and then they'd have a big thing where you broke your horse and you, you got attached to it or whatever and basically work with the horse and it helps keep these horses alive and well um, but this is it this is part of it and the other part's way back way back there and then way back there and then a little bit over there and yeah but trailer looks somewhat better i mean you can't see a whole bunch of black soot oh i mean you still got old residue that right here that'll come off with time i uh, scrubbed it off best i could um but i don't know i feel really bad i'm gonna call her the lady that let me borrow this and i'm going to apologize to her about that tell her and actually all of it is i live in a rural rural community filled with farmland for miles i mean right there's farmland there's farmland there's farmland and a ribbit rabbit and of course I try to feed these guys every day because they do eat a lot. They love to eat. Uh, but there's that one. And all three of them. I did have um, I did have the two boys in one pen and the girl in the next but i decided to since it's it's getting kind of chilly hence the coat but i did decide to put them all back in because i don't think nothing's gonna happen uh i'm not sure which one's the girl at the moment they all look pretty well the same but they are all very very beautiful rabbits um and yeah so Thank you guys. Uh, hopefully tomorrow y'all learn some more. God bless you.